Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Daniel here from Second Chance Love and finally I'm going to be starting with my Halloween decorating and I figured you know what, what is the best way to start to, you know, to kick it off than with the coffee bar area. So I am not a coffee drinker by all means, I don't like coffee. Hubby Joe is the one that drinks coffee, he's the only one that likes to make coffee in the house. But of course, you know that I have to deck out every space in my home with at least some Halloween. So this is actually kind of like a only a sneak peek because I will only be decorating the coffee bar area. But I am going to be adding a lot more into my kitchen. But this is going to be where I'm going to kickstart my Halloween decorating at home. So if you're new to my channel, I welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, friend, Thank you so much for coming back for today's video you guys so today is going to be a decorate with me video i'm going to be utilizing a lot of uh ray dunn of course you guys know that i'm all about ray dunn and i'm going to be decorating my mug rack which i actually got from amazon so that's going to be so much fun i'm going to go ahead and share every step of the way with you guys so i have some radon some thrift finds some new finds from this year and of course a lot of radon from last year so i'm going to be playing around with the mugs to see which ones look best i have orange green white black purple there's just so many colors for radon for halloween and i do have some goodies that i'm going to interpret between the racks so it looks very cute and full so i'm very excited for that if you're new to my channel, I welcome you to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you're notified of all my weekly videos. And if you guys like this video, I would love and appreciate for you guys to give it a big like. And of course, as always, the comment of the day will go right here and it's going out to my wonderful and sweet friend, Grandma Sandy. Grandma Sandy, thank you so much for your sweet comment. I am really glad to hear that my video for my offer up finds and using of the app was very, very helpful. I really love bringing that to you guys and I just love being able to be helpful in any way that I can. So if you guys aren't already following Grandma Sandy, definitely make sure to head on over to her channel. Let her know that Daniel sent you over to her way and I'll link her channel in the description box below. She's absolutely the most sweetest person ever. She is so giving, she is so friendly, and she is always helping all of us here on YouTube by spreading out channels. She she does a decorate with me, a lot of tablescapes, shopping hauls, gardening, art as well, which I absolutely love that she's picked up coloring. And it's such a joy to you know watch her and hear her. She has such a soothing voice. So definitely make sure to head on over to check her channel out if you aren't already. So let's go ahead and get started with this Decorate With Me session. So let's go ahead and bring you up closer to the mug rack, you guys. I'm actually going to be um, showing you guys in a first person view rather than me just, you know, putting stacking because I think it makes it look a lot better and you're able to see it in first person view. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna start with playing around with my mugs first to see what I have because I have a lot of Raydon mugs. So let me see what will work out best. So these are some of the items that I will be utilizing as well, you guys. This is a thrifted piece from last year. Then I have some pieces from last year that I found from the 99 cent store, including these that are actually brand new. This is from last year's and so is this one. And then I have some beads that I picked up this year as well from the 99 and these cute tags as well. So I have a lot of stuff that I can play around. I dug up a lot of stuff from last year as well. So I'm pretty sure that I have plenty that I can work with. So these are all of my mugs. There's even some in the bottom of this because I created like another layer with a piece of cardboard for the bin. And you guys can see I have a lot of Halloween mugs. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit the majority of them on the mug rack. So a lot of them might be used for other places when I decorate the rest of my home. So I'm just gonna sort out and pick out which of the ones that I want to display on my mug rack. I wanna have like a variation of colors. I don't want it to be like just one color or two. I want it to be mixed up and I'm gonna see what I can choose from my selection. 
So I decided to lay out the mugs that I have. So here's my purple, which are very low. Here are my greens with one iridescent. Then I have orange, black, and then the regular white and some with color on the inside. I even have my vintage M stamp boo mug. You guys, I found this at Goodwill. I think it was like already two years ago. It was an M stamp mug and it says boo. So this is like a very vintage piece. I have shared this before when I first found it. I was very, very super excited, especially because it actually goes for a, a lot if I were to resell it. But of course, that is not going to happen. And this is part of my vintage collection that I keep with my Halloween pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and start grabbing the mugs and placing them on the rack and try to see what will look best in what order. Okay guys, so I'm going to give you guys a close-up of the entire mug rack. Now I know it looks a little funky because the mugs, some of them are turned around to show the image on the back of the mug. Now I thought they were going to be, you know, it was going to be way too precious not to show them. So I figured stuff is going to be right here on the empty sides of those areas so it won't look too funky. So I'm just so excited to hopefully, you know, it will all work out in the end. But at the top, we have our toxic, that little jack-o'-lantern face that says trick-or-treat on the other side. We have witch brew, my vintage boo mug, trick-or-treat, the spooky with the skeleton face, goals night out, here for the booze, candy coma potion, jeepers creepers, wicked witch, cheers witches, my iridescent potion, and the boo in orange. Now, a tip about decorating, you guys, is that you can never go wrong. You can always switch things up if you don't like the order that it is, if you don't like how it turned out. Something like this is not permanent versus if you were doing something that is a DIY, then most likely it would be a little bit more difficult to redo it. So always keep in mind that you're able to do anything you can with your decor, play it around, take your pieces, move them around. If you don't like how it looks on one way, maybe switch it up. You know, just play around with it until you get a feel that the vibe is correct. If you like how it looks, if you feel that it looks, ooh, it looks so fierce, then I just really recommend that you guys have fun. That is ultimately what decorating is, is to bring your self-expression into your home. And what better way than decorating? You know, it relaxes you. It definitely relaxes me. And I just enjoy it. It's so much fun. And let's go ahead and continue on with the coffee rack. Now I do have a lot of mugs that were topper mugs, but of course those will not work for something like this. Topper mugs, in my opinion, are best for display. They're display pieces that could go on a hutch, on your tablescape, on an area in your kitchen, on a shelf. I really think those are meant to be displayed more in a flat surface, not hanging. You know, there's actually no way to even keep them hanged up with the topper lid unless you keep the plastic that holds the topper to the mug when you buy it in store. So of course this will not be on the coffee rack. So I'm gonna go ahead and play around with some of the items that I got from the 99 and see what looks best with the coffee rack and the mugs. So I have all of these signs, which I'm gonna go ahead and grab up, including these little ties, hanging bead tags, and I'm gonna see how they all look displayed in the coffee bar. If you guys have not seen my 99 cent shopping haul and the haul that I got from the store, I definitely recommend that you guys check that video out and you can see all of these goodies. Again, the 99 is only available in four states, so unfortunately you may not be able to find these, but these are just absolutely so adorable and they're going to look so pretty 
put in in between the mugs. So I'm thinking I'm going to probably put them in like this hanging with the beads being hung over the hanging rack piece and see how that goes. Now I also do have these beads as well but I'm going to play around with these because I don't want the entire mug rack to feel too overcrowded so I'm going to go ahead and play around to see if they look really good and complement it well and then I will show you guys how it looks like after. Okay guys status update so unfortunately these don't look really great like this they they dangle too much in between all the other items so the best thing that i'm going to do is because i have one of these with the cat at the end and then i have two of the pumpkins i'm actually going to go ahead and take one of these bead strands and divide it into two so i'm going to go ahead and split it right in the middle and create two hangers instead of one so I went ahead and snipped it in half and I did have to take out some of the beads in order for me to create a knot or a hanging knot. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now is go ahead and create knots on both of these strands and hang it up. Okay, you guys, we are almost done. I just want to go ahead and add a few small touches around here because we don't have a lot of space right here to put so much. So I'm just going to add a few items to give it a touch of Halloween. So I'm going to be adding these little cuties. This one, again, was thrifted from last year. I found it at Savers. So I'm just going to go ahead and place them around just because I don't want them to be in the way when hubby makes coffee in the morning. But of course we have to add a few touches of Halloween at the bottom. So I'm deciding not to put this little guy because there's already a pumpkin one so I didn't think it would be a good idea to put two but the other two are perfect and this is the final look for the bottom pieces right here. I think they're absolutely so cute and adorable and add a little bit of Halloween at the bottom. 
Okay, you guys, we are done. It was fun. I enjoyed it and I love how it came out. Make sure to stay tuned right now for the final reveal. But before I do that, I want to thank you for coming in for today's video. This is just the beginning of a bunch of Halloween decor that I have planned for our home here. And I'm very excited to be sharing that with you guys. So make sure to stay tuned for future videos for my Halloween decorate with me at my home featuring all of my finds all of my Ray done and so many goodies that this house is going to be decked out in full Halloween. So until next time, you guys, this is Daniel from Second Chance Love. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of my coffee bar uh, rack area and let me know what you think. Let me know if you have already started decorating for Halloween. I know a few of you here on YouTube, my lovely friends have already started decorating for Halloween. But let me know when will you start decorating for Halloween. I would love to hear from you. If you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you're notified of all my weekly videos. And until next time, you guys, have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone.